Maybe we can go across to France 24's Iris Mackler standing by in Jerusalem. Iris, good afternoon to you. Is there any point of these uh, talks resuming if Hamas has not been at the table? There is a great point to these uh, talks resuming, which is that this is a fateful week. People, the, you're deciding, in effect, between a ceasefire and a regional conflagration. And I think that's why uh, the US has put so much energy and commitment into this. So have the two other negotiators, mediators, sorry. And I think it's very important to look at this uh, as the last chance, maybe, at this moment, uh, for something that could really change things. So it's a turning point. Will that happen without Hamas there, uh, with certain statements from Israeli leaders that show that perhaps Israel's negotiating point, uh, position is equivocal? I think it's always worth talking. It's particularly worth talking now when we've heard, for example, it's not just Washington, we've heard from Tehran, officials in Tehran telling Reuters that if there were to be uh, a ceasefire, then it would not attack Israel. So they've given themselves a ladder to climb down, if you like. And the question is, can these two parties take this ladder uh, and make a difference to people who have suffered so much inside Gaza and inside Israel for what is now 10 months of this conflict? Exactly, Iris. You mentioned this conflict has gone on for 10 months now. Israeli hostages remain inside the enclave, according to officials in Gaza. The, the death toll stands at, what, nearly 40,000 now. Uh, just this week, we had a father who went to pick up his uh, the birth certificate of his newborn twins, uh, and he got news that uh, his twins had died and his wife had died. Take a look. So, Iris, wherever you stand on this conflict, this is a human tragedy, isn't it? It sure is. And I want to say to you, as someone who's been covering it since October the 7th, since that uh, terrible morning of the Hamas attack, God, more than 10 months ago now, uh, it's, there's been so much sorrow, Delano, I can't recall ever covering from my many years of covering this conflict, ever experiencing so much sorrow on both sides. You see that man whose wife, uh, mother-in-law and four-day-old twins have died, and it's something you don't forget. You hear hostages talking about what they experienced, that's Israeli hostages, what they experienced when they were being held. You know that part of their families are still being held there inside the Gaza Strip with no knowledge of whether they're alive or dead. The sorrow level here it's off the charts and it's a human tragedy as well as being you know a military war and so forth and all wars are tragic but because of the focus on this uh, and because of the media its availability to the media in a way that other conflicts don't have every tragic story somehow seems to enter your heart so yes you know i think the significance of this ceasefire uh, is that hopefully there would be you know it would stop this level of death there, there is so many diseases now rife in the Gaza Strip. They might be able to deal with those. It would just give people on both sides a chance to breathe again. And I think for that reason, the possibility of a ceasefire should be pursued. Let's see what happens. Uh, one can hope. Uh, Iris, thank you very much for that. Iris Mackler reporting that from Jerusalem.